How safe is five minute crafts? For those of you who don't know what five minute crafts is, it's basically the third biggest YouTube channel with about 60 million subscribers and they seem to post life hacks and tips and tricks. And obviously looking at their content, it is tailored towards children. Like that's just the case. That's what the majority of YouTube is anyway. So how safe is this YouTube channel? So first off, look at this clip, how to defrost a pizza. Doesn't look very safe. It's in a plastic container. They're heating up an iron and using a bunch of- Just use the microwave. <laughs> if you're telling kids that they should do this, it's not a very good idea. Like, safety hazards, right? I just had to add here that defrosting a pizza with an iron is something that Ricky from Trailer Park Boys would do. And if it's something that he would do, it's not a good idea. I've seen videos online where Ricky makes a grilled cheese sandwich by by flipping a toaster on its side and baking it in there. He even used a butter knife with duct tape on it. Don't do that. And he also used an iron to cook a grilled cheese sandwich. Like, like if it's something he would do, it's not a good idea. And that's exactly what they did. Now this clip isn't, I guess, that big, but like, seriously, some of these tips are very pointless. There was this one clip where basically they took a styrofoam cup and a, like a fork or something, and they made a spoon out of it. Like, just use a spoon. I don't understand. Five minute crafts is um, interesting that way, but let's look at some other stuff. So this clip is very small. It's of this girl putting toothpaste onto a lollipop and she's eating it. That was it, that was, that was it. And this video is titled 25 simple cool cooking life hacks. So they're telling you, you can eat this. You're not supposed to eat toothpaste. There's a reason why you're supposed to spit it out. But like some of these people are commenting on this video fluoride poisoning alert but yeah maybe you shouldn't ingest a lot of this stuff fluoride is used in like dentistry and stuff but if you have a lot of it it's not good for you so they're telling kids yes it's okay to eat toothpaste it's like a flavor boost no it's not what on earth okay so we've seen some of the dangerous stuff that five minute crafts is advocating but there's this one clip that's ridiculous it's even the thumbnail of the video. Take a look at this. 36 crazy fruit hacks you should try to eat, right? You can see in their tags, dessert recipes. This is obviously an eating video. And look what ingredient they're using. Bleach, bleach. What the f do not eat bleach. What on earth are they doing? It's Tide Pods all over again, my goodness. So bleach, what are they doing? Dipping strawberries in bleach. So it seems to be decoloring the strawberry. They're now white. They're even wearing gloves. Wow, yep. Color removed. Why are you wearing gloves? Because you know it's dangerous. What the heck? Okay, amaze your friends and show them a trick on how to make white strawberries. This trick is very easy. Take a glass with bleach and place strawberries inside. Wait for a couple minutes and the strawberries will lose the color. Don't forget to wear disposable gloves and do not eat these strawberries. So they're saying that here. They're saying that in the big block of text here that no one's gonna read. They don't mention it in the video, and this video has 1.4 million views. Maybe you should say that in the video, or put it an alert. If I was a kid, I would probably be like, yeah, that's safe, because I don't know anything about bleach. It's, it's not very safe. I don't know, man, I don't know. Do you watch 5 Minute Crafts? If so, is this something you can defend? I've noticed, also in 5 Minute Crafts, that a lot of this footage is reused. Also, I've just found this out right now, right after I'm done uploading, unfortunately, that they've done this before. This exact clip. So watching their content, I've noticed that they've been reusing a lot of their own footage. So, like I've seen multiple food hacks in different videos and I was like, okay, why are they doing this? But I think this goes back to a long time because in January of this year, the same bleach clip was used. And they even titled that video after the same thing. So they're reusing footage and they've been continuously doing this type of stuff. It's also kind of important to point out that YouTube cracks down on reused content a lot. Like I've seen channels uh, getting demonetized because of reused content when it was just like a false claim. But I know for certain you are not allowed to re-upload any of your videos to re-monetize again. And because this channel is so big, this could be very controversial. And I don't even know if YouTube will do anything about it because they're so big. So we'll have to see where this goes. This could be interesting. So yeah, people have said that they've even reported this video and nothing has happened. Come on, YouTube. Why are you allowing this? For real. If YouTube doesn't do something about this and like some media company picks up on it, 
we're gonna have another adpocalypse like we did recently. When it comes to kids, you gotta really control the content, and when YouTube didn't do that last time, it didn't go well for them. So I really hope that they do something about this. Maybe take down this video for starters, and then I wouldn't say shut down 5 Minute Crafts, but like, try and regulate them maybe? What are your thoughts? I don't know. Hard to say. 60 million subscribers, they obviously have a lot of kids watching them anyway. But yeah, that's it for me. Don't unsubscribe and fly on. If you enjoyed this video and are not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Be sure to hit subscribe. I always make videos on topics and things and and I come up with interesting solutions and I film my life. So there's just a whole bunch of content on here that you're not subscribed for. Okay, bye. <laughs>